the request for relief, as I understand it, is going to be denied. Judge Cynthia Stevens putting a stop to a lawsuit filed by President Donald Trump against Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson. The Trump campaign wanted absentee ballot counting to stop, claiming it was denied access to observe the opening of ballots. This, Your Honor, goes to the theme of the whole complaint that we have filed, mm -hmm. just to have transparency, just to be able to have challengers do what Michigan law says. A spokesperson representing Benson in court said the lawsuit, which was filed at four in the afternoon Wednesday is moot because all the AV ballots across the state had already been counted. To the extent that the plaintiffs are requesting that we halt, you know, the processing of AV ballots so that somehow challengers can have some sort of opportunity to review the process, there isn't any more opportunity to do so. In the end, the judge ruled in Benson's favor. I have no basis to find that there's a substantial likelihood of success on the merits as relates to this Defender. State Attorney General Dana Nessel's office agreed with the judge's ruling, saying that she identified the same defects in the campaign's filings as we did, namely a complete lack of any evidence of wrongdoing on the part of election officials and meritless legal arguments. We've also heard from the Michigan Democratic Party. A spokesperson for the MDP told us that this is simply a political stunt meant to distract from the legitimate outcome of the election. Michigander sent a clear message to this president, and no lawsuit or tweet can change the results. And there is an online petition that was started Wednesday by a group of citizens asking the White House to call for a recount here in Michigan. So far, it has over 42,000 signatures. No word on if the Trump campaign is going to ask for a recount here in the Great Lakes State. Reporting live and local in Saginaw, James